My name is Chinaz and welcome back to my channel. So I am re-recording my natural makeup look that I do almost every single day. I had already recorded it, but I did it on my iPhone. I didn't like it. Once I was done editing, I was like, mm, don't like that. So here we are again. So I'm gonna start off with my lips. I like to take any type of like hydrating product on my lip. By the time I'm done with my makeup, then my lips are nicely hydrated. So when I apply my lipstick, it's, you know, hydrated. So. I'm taking this one, which is from Jouer. Mm, absolutely love it. I don't know the name of it, but I will list all the products down below. It leaves like a really pretty shine on the lips and it hydrates them, which is what I love. So like I said, this is my everyday quick out the door makeup where I don't wanna spend too much time, but I still wanna look put together and I wanna look like I spent some time. Um, so I'm gonna start off with this product and you guys have heard me if you follow me on Instagram. And if you don't, go follow me. You guys have heard me rave about this product. It is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. I cannot rave about this product enough. I absolutely love it. I love the way that it blends. I love the coverage. I love that it doesn't uh, crease. It's just such a good product. I already did my skincare, by the way. This one is a nude, so I need to go get a darker one because as you guys can see, my face is very pale, but my body is nice and bronzy. So this is gonna be a little bit light, but I'm gonna go in later with like bronzer and I can like warm up the skin so I can still make it work. So what I like to do is almost like just take it, just use it as a concealer, but there's going to be no foundation on this in this makeup look just because like I said, this is like our quick out the door, but I still wanna look put together glam, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna apply this wherever I would normally apply my concealer. And if I need to spot conceal, then obviously I would do that. Barely apply any on the forehead because I feel like I don't really need to conceal there much. It's more just so that my skin can look nice and even. Normally at this time, I would uh, go into my brows. I let it kind of sit for a little bit and then I go into my brows, but as you guys saw in that vlog, I got henna stain on my brows, which honestly it is the best thing I could have ever done. It makes me getting ready in the morning so much faster. And then I don't feel like, I'm like, there's days that I just do my skincare and I do absolutely no makeup, but because my brows are already done, it just makes me feel like, like I like I did my makeup, even though I did it, I just did my skincare. I don't know, but if you guys are thinking about getting something like this, or if you've been wanting to do microblading, but you don't wanna like commit to that because obviously that's a little bit more permanent, this lasts like two to three weeks, maybe four weeks, depending on how well you take care of it. But I'm obsessed. This is something I'm gonna do every single time I go get my brows done. I will, I'll let you guys know where I go get my brows done in the uh, description down below. It is Katie Brows and she's in Studio City. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge, my beauty sponge. It's actually dry, but I don't mind that. And I'm just gonna start blending this concealer out and you guys will see how easy and nice it blends out. It has really nice natural coverage too. So I just kind of press it in that area and then just kind of start dragging it down at the edges. I'll also run it a little bit on my eyes just so that to cancel a little bit of that like redness and just kind of make it nice and even. I like to concentrate more at the product where I need the most coverage. Like I said, it is kind of light for my skin. Actually, it's very light. I'm very, very tan right now because I got tanned for my cousin's wedding and it was such a pretty wedding. I had so much fun. I danced the entire night and we had so, so much fun. So in the vlog, pretty sure you guys already saw it, but I did all my wedding prep. There's a lot that went into that. My nose gets a little red, so sometimes I go in and apply a little bit more just depending on how much coverage I need. So like for example, right here, I am a little red. So I'm gonna take a little bit more, but I'm telling you guys, this product is so good. I'll just take a little bit like on the cheeks and a little bit around the nose because um, I have a little bit of redness there. It just blends out so, so nice and it looks so nice on the skin. Like just looks so natural. It's just like a way to even out your skin tone. It's not gonna give you full coverage. It's gonna give you some coverage. Um, it gives really good coverage actually if you ask me, but it's not gonna be like a full like full coverage heavy makeup. Oh, it feels so, super lightweight too. And it looks so good. And at this point you can set. So I'm gonna set my, just my under eyes using my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is one of my favorite powders with this e.l.f. brush. And I'm just gonna set my under eye with this and then I'm gonna set my face with something else, which I'll show you guys. I feel like all the products that I use, obviously this is my everyday makeup, so all the products that I use are products that I like absolutely love. You guys see, like it's just, 
it just evens out the skin but it still looks natural you can still kind of see like I have like some beauty marks and they peek through next to kind of bring a little bit of color back to the face we're gonna go in with blush and I have been loving this one this is the Mac in Melba uh, Karen I love Sarai actually put me on this blush to apply it, I'm going to take literally the best blush brush that is a tongue twister out there. It's this one from Smashbox. Um, it's so good. Something about this angle and the size, it's just everything. You guys need this brush. Like, I know that brushes can be really expensive and you can find so many good ones. If you guys know a dupe to this, please let me know because that is my this is my favorite blush brush. Okay, and now we are going to start applying our blush and this is definitely a buildable blush you guys can start seeing the color there and i like to run it also on my lids just to add a little bit of color remember this is obviously going to take me a a lot longer because i'm chatting with you guys and i'm explaining the steps but i have this makeup down to like five ten minutes like and i'm out the door it's just so easy um, I feel like I need to bring down the lights a little bit because I feel like they're a little bit too bright. We have our blush down. Now, this is another product that you guys absolutely need. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder Light Catcher, and this is in Honey Star, so it does have like a little bit of color to it, which I appreciate because I like to add a little bit of color to my face, especially because my body is so much darker than my face. I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's from It Cosmetics. It's just an angled brush. And then whatever product I have here, I'm just gonna kind of press it into the brush. Take a little bit more. And I like to just apply this all over the face because it is so light. It does not feel heavy at all. It just sets the makeup and your skin just looks so there is no highlight on my face and you guys know i am about Milo. wow this gives me the mineral glow vibe and i just set all my makeup with it my nose i set my whole face do you, do you guys see that oh it's so good only because this concealer is a little bit light i am gonna go in with bronzer but normally i don't i just need to get the right color and just kind of run it Just a little bit of bronzer. Okay, and now for eyes, all I'm gonna do is mascara. So I'm gonna start off by curling my lashes. This is from, this is a long comb curler. So I'm just gonna go in and curl them at, make sure you wanna get to the base of your mascara and curl to your mascara, to your lashes, not your mascara, your girl lashes. Before I apply my mascara, I'm gonna set my makeup. Love this setting spray. I actually used it for the wedding and my makeup lasted all night. And it also leaves your skin super luminous and beautiful and it smells delicious also the way that it sprays it sprays divine like a nice little mist but it leaves your skin super luminous and pretty i love that setting spray i think it's been a, it's been a while that i've fallen in love with a setting spray and that one i absolutely love so we're just gonna let this kind of seep into the skin and then while that happens we're gonna apply our mascara this mascara mishulas you guys need to run to the drugstore and get it this is the maybelline falsies it is the lash lift it's such a good mascara every time i use this oh my god have i been hunched this whole time you know oh, it's looking like a banana so every time i use this you guys will dm me and ask me what mascara i'm using and it is this one i do suggest you guys take your time with your lashes like Get every single little hair because every single little hair counts. But you want to get at the base, wiggle your brush up, and make sure you get every single little corner, both the outer and the inner. This is, I think, probably what takes me the longest is my mascara because I like to take my time because I want to make sure my lashes look fire. I feel like these products, like all these products, are just like, <sighs> you guys need them. I, I, I feel like I've gotten down the quick, natural makeup look with really good products and then the great thing about this makeup is that you can literally do any any color um any lipstick that you or any lip color that you like are you guys excited for fall for all the fall fashion for the makeup looks the decor the weather honestly it was 103 in the valley yesterday so and it was supposed to be the first day of fall so i am confused today wasn't that hot but yesterday was literally 103 i'm like what is this and there we have it okay another thing that i like to do and this is just an extra step but i feel like it makes a difference is i take a liquid liner you don't have to do liquid you can do pencil 
Um, it's just what I have right now. And I fill in the bottom of the lash and then this is going to make my lashes look even thicker because it's gonna look uh, black at the bottom. So don't skip this step. And once we're done with that, it is time for lips. And the great thing about this look, because it is so simple yet so pretty, you can do any lip color. Because of my top, I'm feeling a little bit inspired with fall. So I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. This is from Urban Decay 24 seven in torch so i'm just gonna line my lips okay i did a little cocktail on the lips so i added this smashbox lipstick in here for it but it was a little light and then on top of it i added macchiato from dose of colors the gloss but mainly on the lips is the torch lip liner which i really liked i think it's a really pretty like um fall color i think that would be pretty with like a really nice um pumpkin spice vibe eyeshadow but this is my natural, quick, five to 10 minute makeup look. I know that it seems like it takes so much longer, but I promise you guys, it does not. If I'm not talking, I'm just like doing my makeup. I will be ready super, super fast, but I love the way that this looks. It's a quick, like I said, out the door makeup look, and I feel like I have gotten it down with these products. So if you guys want to try some amazing products, try the ones that I'm linking down below. All the ones that I use today are so, so, so good. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look at how glowy the skin looks and there is absolutely no highlight. It is this and this together. It is a great duo. But anyway, Miss Chulas, thank you guys so much for joining me. Please let me know in the comments down below what else you guys want to see on the channel. Obviously, you guys are going to keep getting vlogs, but what other type of content would you like to see? Um, let me know. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.